Hey y'all, it's your girl Jay Slay and I am back with another video. Today I'll be giving you guys a couple of hairstyles to try out when it comes to your faux locks instead of just wearing them down or, you know, draped over to the side. So we're going to take out four locks from the front middle and we're going to put barrels at the ends of the locks and then we're going to leave two locks out on the sideburns, uh, one on each side and we're going to put a barrel at the end of those. We're gonna take the majority of our hair and pull it up to the very, very top middle of our head and then leave probably about two to three rows of locks out in the back to hang down, okay? So I will be using a uh, crochet lock or you can use a scrunchie, but I'm gonna go for a crochet lock just simply because it doesn't hurt. Um, the scrunchie can be a little tight and irritating and make you ready to take it down. The lock is much softer when it comes to to tighten up your hair but once you put the lock around and you tie it around and secure it in the back you can put like a bobby pin um, back there but in this case I did not um, and I have not since I've been using it um, but yeah so that's pretty much it for this first look it's very cute simple and easy you got two to three rows down in the back and then the rest of it is pulled up super cute right All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the next style. Keeping the base of the first style that I did, we're gonna split that ponytail into two. We're gonna either twist it like this, or you're gonna do a uh, take two sides of that side and just twist it around each other, um, and just twist it all the way down to the end, and we're gonna start wrapping around. We're gonna do a top bun or top knot uh, with this particular look here. Now, with this, you don't have to twist it the way I am or uh, make your bun look like mine. Your bun can look totally different from mine um, if you would like. If there is no real preference here. It's just whatever you want. You can actually take um, some of the hair out of that top ponytail and let it hang with the rest of the hair in the back. That way, the bun isn't so big. Um, so just keep that in mind, but yeah, we're going to do this top knot or slash bun, um, just adjust it to where you'd like it and then just make sure it's secure. I did not use any bobby pins or anything like that during this particular, um, during any of these styles. So, or any rubber bands. So just an FYI, <laughs> um, but yeah, there's your top knot and then you have the rows out in the back. You have your barrel bangs going on in the front. All right, so we're gonna use the base of the second style and we are going to pull up the hair that was left uh, left hanging down in the back and we're gonna make a big old bun, okay? <laughs> we're gonna make a beehive or a pineapple, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna twist um, the back piece. I didn't twist it all the way to the root because it does need to lay flat. Um, because when I add it to the top knot that's already there, I need it to be laid down and flat in the back. So we're just going to use our hand as a guide to make sure it's flat and then wrap it around the existing uh, top knot that you have and secure it in place. We're going to take that second one. You don't want to twist all the way from the root. Um, <clears throat> and if you do, you can just basically pull from the, the root and just make sure that it's flat like I'm doing right there and then wrap it around and secure it in and then boom you got your beehive your pineapple your top knot whatever you want to call it <laughs> so yeah so um just adjust make sure you like it and then boom there you go you got your third style Now this style is gonna take a little longer, guys, because I'm gonna put barrels throughout the entire head of hair. And I think I have about 52 to 55 locks in my head. Um, so this one's gonna take about maybe 20 or 30 minutes. So just keep in mind, I did cut these um, clips down some just to get it in like a 10 minute video. But basically you're gonna take a strand, you're gonna fold it basically almost in half and that leftover piece you have hanging, you're gonna twist it down and around. And to secure, all I do is just at the end 
of the strand of hair that I'm twisting around. I'm going to keep my finger in a loop and I'm going to put the hair inside of that little loop at the end. Now you can use a rubber band at the end, but y'all don't be having time for that. <laughs> and I don't like rubber bands, but this is how is the end result, ending result. I'm sorry. So that's how it looks. It, this is so cute. So you can just basically play around with it. This for this particular style, all I'm gonna do is flip this one over to one side of my head. And I just love the way it's laying. It's super cute. There's the back, just in case you were wondering. Um, so that's what it looks like. So for the last and final style, we are going to leave out some barrels in the top middle of my head. Leave out the one on each side at the sideburn um, again. And we're going to pull all of these barrels up except for what we left out into like a ponytail situation. But it's going to look very messy, which is the idea. So don't be alarmed. It may not be for you. You can just leave it at doing like half up, half down if that's something that you like, like what I have right here. Or you can pull it all up into one um, like I'm doing. Now, pulling it all up into one, it reminds me a lot of the Lauren Hill miseducation. I don't know if y'all ever seen her in that particular time frame, but she had a similar hairstyle. I'm gonna try to find it and paste it in the screen, but yeah. Um, pulling all those barrels up is going to be a little bit of a task, but just bear with it. And I'm going to use the little lock that I have. But since these barrels can probably be a little heavier um, and a lot more over the place, you may need a scrunchie. But I just don't, I just rather not. Um, I might just break a scrunchie in half and use it that way. But when you have braids or faux locks in, Wrapping a scrunchie around a thousand times like it's your regular hair is very tedious and it makes your arms hurt even worse when it's your hair. So I might just, you can just cut a scrunchie in half and just tie it like a shoestring. Um, that may make it better and I might do that as well. We'll see. It's so funny when I finally got it secured and tied up. I lifted my head up like a breath of fresh air, like, whoo, shoot. <laughs> All discombobulated. But once I finally got it up, oh, I was um, very relieved. But it's so cute. It is exactly what I thought it would look like. Um, like I said, if having them all kind of like, untamed ish isn't your style you may want to go up for go for a half up half down but this is exactly what i was going for um and i just absolutely love it it's so cute hey y'all thank you so much for tuning in um i really hope you enjoyed this video this is my favorite style out of the ones that i've done i really love it kind of is reminiscent of miss education of lauren hill i don't know if you ever seen that album cover or the pictures that were in that album um but yes this is what it kind of reminds me of so i love this one y'all let me know in the comments below what other styles y'all want to see me do um or attempt to do a lot of the styles that i do on my channel are the first time that i've done them i have done faux locks before but this is my very first time really getting into doing different styles so let me know what you want to see um but yeah that's it don't forget to like comment and subscribe we have been on a slow crawl to a thousand subscribers so please help your girl get there um love y'all for tuning in this is your girl jay slate and i'll be back with another video bye